boy, little girl. Play with me. Come and sit on my lap. What's that, my name? You'll have to be afraid. We're not gonna hurt you. A minute ago, I swear to God, that was freezing. There's something. There's something to the bad brain. Huh? Say bye bye. Right, dude, just take her on. Thank you, Katie. Go on down the steps. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gaz Coward and today we're in Cleveland, just four miles from Blackpool, the entertainment capital of the United Kingdom. Tonight I'd like to invite you to join myself and my team as we're spending the night at the Travellers of Rest. Are you ready for the unknown? Can you handle paranormal encounters? Right, we are actually getting ready to go up to uh, the Traveller's Rest now. Uh, Anna and John are not with us at the moment because, let's just say they're doing their own research on the place. The Traveller's Rest is uh, obviously right behind me, as you can see, which is the place we are going to be spending the night. And we do have somebody in there that we are going to meet now. So if you want to follow me, and we'll go in there and meet a young lady called Sam, who actually used to live in the Traveller's Rest. Now please take into account there isn't actually that much history on the place. Now this investigation is going right off the bat and to be honest with you it's kind of creeping me out but I am so pumped up for the investigation. So if we go in here and we can meet Sam, you must be Sam. Hello. I am, yes. Right, well, I'm Gaz. <laughs> I am. Uh, as you can see, the one who's Okay. Uh, there isn't much in, much history on this place. We've searched and searched and searched and we can't find anything. We were told that you used to live here. I did, yes, for quite a while. Okay, well, you must have loads of stories that you can tell us. Well, I do, yeah. Can we head up to the locations that are most active in upstairs, please? Yeah, well, Straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you just want to follow me, we'll yeah. go up upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I used to stay in these two rooms here. Okay. Um, this one here. Right. We've heard a hell of a lot of things in. What kind um, of stuff have you actually heard in here? You've heard bangs, you've heard people running across the ceiling. From the uh, corridor above us? Yeah. Right. Um, okay. We used to have the bed here, and okay. my son's been woke up by it as well. And you lay right. this on the wall, as if okay. there's somebody behind it. Now that door in there is the office, so it's always locked. Right, so okay, so... You never uh, get anyone in there. Right, so the water's right, okay. That um, makes sense. Yes. And did you say you had a little lad staying in here? Yes, I had my little boy staying with me. And he was woken up by that, that kind of knocking. That. Was it ever... Did the it ever get aggressive? The door's banged, yes, the door's banged quite a few times. So we have an aggressive, in a way, an aggressive spirit? I would say so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, I love aggressive spirits. <laughs> uh, Where's the next place? Obviously we've got okay. a corridor up here. Do you want to lead us up there yeah. and we can just yeah, uh, have a look at this? Oh, sorry. An aggressive spirit, I love that it. That room as well, that's very active. Okay. And the one room, if you're ever going to stay here to stay in, okay. is literally just through here. That room there is horrible. Just through here. This room we've got here. the dog running towards the door. <laughs> as you can see, this is off the bat, remember. This is just going for it. And we, Okay, we have a dog here. Hello, yeah. little one. That's Lady, just ignore You might want to go back in there, Lauren, go on. 
As you can see, that is not scripted. No. This, <laughs> Just come through here. This room here, okay. if you stay in here, you yeah. ought to be in here. Okay. <laughs> because there's been four or five different people staying here that have been woke up from people talking in their ear, being poked. People running up and down on the corridor. Hmm. Oh, I'm loving it already. I really am. So, okay, let's head up to this uh, third second, floor. Uh, yeah, third yeah. floor, because it is deserted up there, and it's totally, it's totally deserted. Okay. This oh. corridor, you see loads of shadows. You see loads of um, a lot of well, people. All, all down this area. Yeah. Here. Um, oh, you can I actually this. get onto the. Um, Onto the out, out of the part here, not through here. Right. You can get onto the, um, onto the roof. Balcony area, yeah. Now, there's loads of times people have seen right. a guy in here stood looking out the window. So um, basically, he would be looking out. Literally, from there, the yeah. Yes. Out here. Uh, loads of people right. have seen things in here. Yeah. Bit of a creepy room to be it's in, a bit really. Cold, this area, actually, compared to the what I felt before. Very. Taking into account we are going up on the uh, third floor now. <laughs> it's pretty uh, a big area. It is. Okay, what's happened in this corridor? Okay, now this corridor, um, a lot of people have heard a, a child running up and down it as if it, well, as if it's playing. Okay. Um, my my boss, my ex boss's wife. She's heard a little girl crying. Right. Is this all child. in this area, this corridor here? Yes. Right. Okay. Um, I, I suppose they're going in and out of the rooms. So I would imagine. Okay. If anything, it's these two because they're above the rooms that we stayed in. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. And that one would be above the one that you you might be staying in this evening if you're staying. We're actually going to be awake all night. We are okay. going to be locked in. <laughs> okay. That's going to be fun. So, what else has actually happened okay, down this corridor here that we are actually? Um, we've in? heard, we've heard footsteps. We've heard um, as if somebody's running in and out of the room. Okay. Um, as if somebody's literally fallen over. Now I actually woke my boss up one night right. thinking somebody had broken in. Okay. I, I woke everybody up downstairs and I wouldn't come out of my bedroom. I would not You thought move. it was a burglar. So someone burglar. was breaking in and coming for yeah. you. Now there's no way in or out unless you go up the stairs. Okay. From the, so, from the bar you mean? Bar area you yeah. mean? Right. Um, well, from the, from the floor underneath. Yeah, course, There's yeah. no way that, that you could get out through here unless, of course, you right. smashed a window. So, okay. um, right. we've heard, a bit like yourself mentioned yeah. before, we've actually heard people being dragged yeah. as well. Or oh, it sounded like something being dragged across the floor. Well, we have been told about this doll. That doll quite Now, freaky. I just want to state that I am scared. I better beat myself out here. <laughs> this <laughs> of uh, dolls. And we've been told that that moves from room to room. Yes, we've, that's been moved. Yes, we, uh, I, will say, I will say that we moved that today and we actually put it there on purpose. So if that thing moves, that's the moment that I say bye bye and I run down there screaming. Okay. <laughs> so that's the I wouldn't blame one. you. <laughs> right. right, okay. And obviously yeah. these, these rooms had any activity. As you can see, there are actually rooms off. This main corridor. Have these rooms experienced anything? Not as far as I'm aware. Well, not that one. That okay. one was generally used if somebody was staying to throw all the gear in. Okay. That one, quite frequently enough, has got an urn or what looks like an old urn. Nobody knows anything about that, so that must have been it. Do you want to get that? A lot of years ago. Yes. Um, right. it's a bit... An odd thing to have in a house. Yeah, it really. is, to be honest with you. Right. So next, that we're, we're almost reaching the floor. We've got these two, five, three final rooms, I might add. Yeah. So they, all these rooms are, all, in a way, the same kind of activity. Yeah. In most that rooms. Doll has With this doll. In there, in there. This Up room, here. that room. Yeah. Okay. Not that and one, if you want, The doll just behind Sam here. That is the doll that's moved, and that, if that sounds out, because I do know it sings. 
Oh, that's something else, yeah, when the batteries are dead, it miraculously comes on every now and then as well. So good luck with that one if you're walking around. Uh, can I just, has someone put any new batteries in that recently? I don't know. Because that was singing in. when I came up a, a little while ago. I wouldn't have thought so. But you can check. That was, no, that was, check. that was actually singing when I came up a few moments ago. Oh, right. Well, as far as I'm aware of, no. But you better off checking with Ken. I think I'll, uh, I think, uh, I'll check on that, actually, because that really did. It started singing and dancing. Okay. It has a tendency to do that, though. That's not right. It's just... Stay still and don't move. <laughs> <laughs> right, where do we move up to the final okay, floor? Okay, we can go back well, behind yourself. After you. Just mind that. Yeah, of course. As you can see, we are walking on uh, wooden floor in here. So We're it not, is completely derelict. It's not very sturdy either. Yeah, um, of and as you can see, maybe if you show it up there, that's how sturdy it is. Does anyone want to fall through the floor tonight? <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, have you got a torch? I've got a torch. If I pass that to you, I'll let you go up. Thank you. Right, as a way, if it does go a bit dark, that is not our fault, but we have got a torch, so hopefully you can see enough. Just mind these on the stairs. Of these the spikes. Things. God, they're a bit weird to have on stairs. Spikes. Can we just get a, a quick shot of that, please, if you come in here? Why would you have spikes on a... Unless you try and chip someone up, that's a bit... <laughs> uh, to be honest, I've never actually noticed them until can today, so... Can just have so... shot down here, this, on this step here? As you can see, they are a bit... And they're all the way down as well, that's... Ooh. It might have been the old staircase, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. This, I must admit, I hate going up here. Oh, it freaks me out. <laughs> I, I stayed up here once, one night, oops, one okay. night. Um, <laughs> Very creepy in there. Yeah, it's very, very warm as well. Very warm up here. No, I really, really don't like it in here. Okay, you can hear. Can you see okay on that? Can you? Are you seeing enough down here where the torch is? Yeah. Where there's a no. bit of light? It's. I can see very little, but I don't know. Do you want to come into the room? And okay, if we get, okay. if we get a bit of a room going right. there, if we come in here. If I shine this up, can you see me now? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. I'll let you explain what's going on. We are actually in a... Uh... We're in a loft at the moment. We're at the top <laughs> of the pub. And it is um, boiling. It's it very is, warm. I'm sweating now. I'm actually sweating. This, believe it or not, I know it looks a bit ragged, but it's quite clean as well in here. There's very rarely any dust or anything like that. Yeah. Um, it's not a very nice place to be up here, I must admit. I've no, stayed it's... up here um, mainly for a joke one night with four of my friends and I bailed two or three hours later right. um, because I couldn't stand um, the thought of being up here that we heard loads of bangs uh, we were actually if you want to go in there and stay in that if room if you want to show us through there yeah yeah, you yeah. yeah. You want to find it? go on uh, we've got it <laughs> just remember we are going to be having uh, night vision cameras up here tonight so we will be able to see as you can I don't really want to turn that off for one second yeah if I just uh, I'm going to explain what we're going to do I'm going to turn this uh, flashlight off the reason being well let's see if you can actually pick it up first and then I'll tell you what it is so okay I'm off can you see that if you turn around that is a very very weird thing at this very moment as we said the uh, we have turned the flashlights off what we're seeing is an upside down house Shot across, across the road. Shot across the road, which is if you can, if you want to turn round and get a shot of the actual, there's a little the like hole in the door, which people say it is coming from, which is here. If you want to maybe have a look through there, you can see yourself that you can't yeah, see. If, what you, if you get is. the lens right to we should be able to see through. Mm -hmm. That. He's basically projecting onto the wall. Now, is the camera picking anything up? It's a slight outline of it. Yeah, I can see like the, just the roof of it. Can you see it there? Oh, you're in the way of it yeah. now. in the way of it. It's not yeah, if you come on this side. Actually, you're right. It's the way it's... There, can it's you see it? a very, very strange thing to look at. That. <laughs> There's no reason why that would be upside down. There is a slight... Outline. Could but you not take a few photographs of that? We've tried that and it won't do it, unfortunately. Not on your phone? Have you not got a camera? Nothing. It won't do it. For some it's reason, not. it just won't show up. 
But as you can see, it's actually this area here, which uh, I'm shining my torch at the moment. If I just try turning this off again, it's very hot in here. Yeah, it's very right. hot. I think we'll take some temperature readings out to find out exactly how hot it is uh, later on. If I just turn this off, there should be an outline of an upside down house. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or what. There is, you can see the roof. Okay. Well, whatever you're seeing, if we can try, we'll try and get some evidence of that and we'll try and show it. I must admit, no, I've been told about that loads of times. That is the first yeah. time I've actually seen that. Okay. Um, Ken's, my, my boss's son has seen that quite a lot of times. Yeah. But in here, it's not a very nice room, like I say to be. We okay. have stayed up here for a few hours now. The one thing yeah. we all noticed, we're all sat in a circle down here. Um, weren't doing anything, we just okay. had our duvets on, whatever. Yeah. And all we could see down the hallway here yeah. was a, the outline of a little girl kept walking in and out of this room. Now, that's the scariest. Oh, so we have a little girl. We can see if she wants to come and sit on my lap. Scariest. And I mean that, no person. pun intended, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> At least, well, I've been told that there's, there is a child that likes to sit on people's laps. That's, what, that's that. the story that we've been child. told. So, child, child ghost is what the, well, a ghost. Are said to be very playful, so to, you, you've got to try and act as if you there were there or whatever, and try and. There is an them. old um, story. I can't honestly say whether it's true okay. or not. Um, a lot of the old customers that used to come in here years yeah. ago mentioned it as well. Okay. Um, there was a fire. I don't know if it was in here or next door, right. and there was meant to have been a, a little girl or a person died there in the fire, and right. they they are assuming that this is this little girl or the, the spirit of this little girl. Hmm. Well, all the information you give us is uh, very interesting, to say the And least. I'm hoping you see something. We're hoping we see something as well, and if we do... It's well, frightened me both times, and I care to remember it along with others, so well, I really... Well, if we're not here in the see... morning, <laughs> we'll know what's happened. But let's hope we see something. But yeah, I think uh, it's time to go and interview a few more people and get some history on this place, because it seems to be drenched in it. It's yeah. finding it. <laughs>